the impact of policy. In this video, you will learn what monetary and fiscal policy are and how they affect the strength of a currency. Monetary policy controls the money supply within an economy, and it is controlled by an economy's central bank. Before we explore this further, we'll explain money supply. The money supply is the total amount of money available within an economy, and because the value of a currency is determined by supply and demand, just as any other financial asset, the actual supply of money has a significant impact on the currency value. It is important for a central bank to maintain control over the money supply, because when there is too much supply, inflation could start rising, whereas too little money supply can stunt economic growth. Policymakers therefore aim to strike a balance between growth and inflation. We'll now explain how a central bank goes through the use of monetary policy. Monetary policy can be either restrictive or accommodative, and a central bank will decide on which, depending on the current economic circumstances. If policymakers observe that inflation is becoming too prominent because the economy is expanding too quickly, a central bank may consider restrictive monetary tightening, such as raising the interest rate. This implies that policymakers are trying to reduce the amount of capital available in the economy by making borrowing more expensive. Raising interest rates also increases the demand for the currency because investors will attain a higher rate of return. If the supply of money is therefore reduced by raising interest rates, then the value of the currency will increase. If policymakers observe that economic growth is sluggish, a period of accommodative monetary policy might be seen, such as the lowering of interest rates and allowing capital to become more readily available. Increasing the supply of money subsequently reduces the value of the currency. Lowering the interest rates will also lower the demand for the currency because investors will get a lower rate of return for holding capital there. During times of economic turmoil, a central bank may, in fact, print money to purchase financial assets in order to inject liquidity into the economy. This is known as quantitative easing and also has a detrimental effect on the value of a currency. Fiscal policies are government spending programs and they are used to exert influence over the economy through controlling revenue and spending. The money that a government spends is either raised through taxation or through borrowing by issuing debt securities. If a country spends more money than it earns, then this is called budget deficit. Government spending is usually a prominent way of stimulating the economy and can either be directed at specific projects, such as building or developing infrastructure, or by hiring employees. Government spending can be a potent tool to use in a recession because the money injected into the economy has a stimulus effect. If a country therefore adapts a loose fiscal policy, this can have a positive effect on the amount of investment that comes into the currency, and so the value of the currency is likely to increase under increased demand. So far, you have learned that the money supply is controlled by monetary policy, and it is used to strike a balance between growth and inflation and that fiscal policy is a way of impacting the economy by government spending. <music>